Good Monday morning. I'm Dwayne Nelson. A Kingsport man who fell about 70 feet from a cliff over the weekend into the North Fork of the Houston River is recovering from his injuries at a local hospital. It happened yesterday near the Five Caves area. EMS crews encountered rough terrain in order to get the victim out and transported to Houston Valley Medical Center. The man's name hasn't been released at this time, but the Hawkins County Sheriff's Office is investigating the matter, plans to release more information later today. Well, two Carter County fishermen were able to save a man's life over the weekend after the victim was swept away in the Watauga River. It happened in an area known as River Bend along Blevins Road. According to the Carter County Rescue Squad, the unnamed 39-year-old man was fishing upstream when the current pulled him under and he came floating by two men face down in the water. They were able to get the man to shore, started CPR, and revived the man who was taken to a local hospital. Johnson City man accused of beating another man is behind bars. 22-year-old Brooks Price is charged with aggravated assault. He's accused of fighting with another man in a Cherry Street parking lot early yesterday morning. The victim suffered a head injury, was taken to a local hospital for treatment. Price is being held on a $50,000 bond, will be in court this morning. Sullivan County leaders expected to consider the idea of a wheel tax to help bridge the funding gap in the county. During a recent called meeting of the county's budget committee, Commissioner John Crawford raised the wheel tax issue, saying that it would be more fair than a property tax increase. The committee will hold a meeting this evening at 6 p.m. at the old courthouse in Bluntville to determine how that funding gap will be bridged. Local authorities continuing to increase patrols as thousands of people are expected to move into an area of the Cherokee National Forest near South Houston Lake in Bristol. So far, several hundred have gathered at this area to host the, this year's annual Rainbow Family of the Living Light National Gathering, which is expected to draw upwards of 10,000 people by the 4th of July. Sullivan County Sheriff's Office is assisting the U.S. Forest Service with monitoring safety in that area. Town of Abingdon, of Virginia, continuing with plans to annex about 4,500 acres of Washington County. Targeted areas include a large tract of land between exits 19 and 22 of Interstate 81, an area of land extending to exit 13, a section between exits 14 and 17, and a large tract to the north of the town. The land would be added through a boundary adjustment, which is similar to annexation, but instead allows both the town and county to agree. Johnson City Power Board has named a new interim president and CEO. The utility's chief financial officer, Brent Kitzmiller, had his, this week to decide if he will accept that offer. The board said they chose Kitzmiller because he doesn't in, intend to apply for the job. Power Board continuing to look for a replacement for Homer G. Fellers, who announced his resignation last month after serving 38 years with the utility. More problems at Legion Pool in Kingsport starting today and running through Wednesday. The pool will be closed in order for repairs to be made to a pipe that is leaking about 95,000 gallons of water a day. That leak has been identified as coming from a major water line in the pump room. This will require the pool to be drained, the pipe welded, and the pool reopened by Thursday. And Tennessee's jobless rate rose in May to 7.9 percent, up from the April figure of 7.7 percent. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have yourself a great Monday.